All right, team. All right, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to your Motivational Monday, your BFIT Live program. This is your chance to work out with myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, and the Exchange BFIT program. All right, team. So as we get settled in, welcome. Let us know where you're joining us from. Drop us a note in the comments below. Again, let us know where you're watching from, where you're working out from. Are you indoors? Are you outdoors? Um, let us know how your weekend was. What did you do to stay active? That's what we want to know. That's what are your goals? That's what we want to know. How can we help you achieve your goals that you have set for yourself? All right, team. Once again, BFIT Live. Here we are with a live programmed workout uh, available every Monday at 11 a.m. at this time. So um, as you grab your, grab your water, grab your towel, grab your dumbbells, uh, we will be using some resistance for today. If you don't have any, don't worry. Um, we will just go ahead and modify with a nice strong pause at a lot of these different movements. So we have a full body, uh, just under 20 minute workout for you today. All right, team. Um, resistance training is going to be uh, the name of the game today. So we're going to take things nice and controlled, uh, nice and uh, functional nice and um you no know, we're going to keep in mind on form correction and quality of reps versus the quantity um but our timing for today for today team is 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest uh four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds once again 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four exercises four movements within those four rounds uh each of those four rounds and one minute rest um, in between those rounds, team. All right, I'll go ahead and demo each movement and call out the name of the movement and uh, any specific cues, tips, techniques that we can take away from the movements. Uh, that way we can get, uh, we know exactly what we're gonna get into uh, during today's workout. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching to get our bodies uh, prepared and ready to work. And then uh, we'll, hit in, we'll head into the workout. How does that sound, team? All right, looks like we are looking good. We are live. Uh, again, if you have a, a comment, a note, uh, any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to try and address them as best as I can. All right, team. Well, so let's get started with our resistance training workout for today. All right, we are focusing on some lower body, some upper body, and then some core functional movement for today. All right, we have a staggered squat uh, on our left side, a staggered squat on our right side for 20 seconds on each leg for that first movement. So as we grab our dumbbell, you do not need a dumbbell. This is actually a really good movement to isolate your quad as, an, as, a, as a squat and then as an extension as you come back up to standing position with or without a dumbbell. But uh, for the sake, I will pay, I'll demo with a dumbbell and then you can remove the dumbbell if you do not have. All right, so we're gonna take one dumbbell. We're gonna hold it from the head here. Most important part here on our foot placement is going to be heel to toe. So watch where your foot placement is, heel to toe on your foot placement. So that right leg is forward, that left toe is just at the heel of your right foot. All right, team, your shoulders or your, your, your foot placement is gonna be shoulder width apart. We wanna make sure to keep about 80% of our weight on that forward, that lead forward leg, all right, team? So we're gonna drop down into a staggered squat. You're going to come down into a squat position as far as you can, as far as you are available to go today. Drop down comfortably and extend right back up to standing position. This is going to be a staggered squat here where 80% of my weight is on that lead leg, that lead foot. All right, find now three points of contact on your foot, your big toe, your small toe, and your heel is going to be what grounds you and uh, really pushes you from that squat back up to standing position, all right? Keep our chest up, keep our shoulders rolled back, and again, keep that weight close to our chest in a goblet style uh, grip. That way we can really drive up out of that squat, all right? That's gonna be 20 seconds of one leg, 20 seconds of that second leg, and that's gonna equal out to that 40 seconds of work for movement number one. Movement number two, as we go in to that second movement, we are in a high plank position. We have T push-ups, all right? Nice thing about the T push-ups is not only, that, not only are we getting a push, uh, push position, but we're also getting a nice rotation in where it's really forcing us to stabilize, engaging our core, engaging our abductors, our obliques, our hips, our glutes, all at the same time. So 
we're going to go into our high plank position. And as a reminder, our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders. We're in that high plank position. So our feet are shoulder width apart here. From here, we're going to drop down into our push up. We're going to extend right back up. And then left arm tracks all the way up to the ceiling, as well as our gaze. Our gaze is going to follow our fingertips on the way up, coming back down into that high plank position. You're going to go back down into your press. Nice, strong push up. And then alternate left arm and right arm as your gaze follows and your hand stops midway on your center line right above your body. All right. That's going to be the push up, the T push up there. If we need to regress, let's drop down to our knees, lead with our chest here, keep those hips up. Nice, strong push up. Think about those arms in an arrow formation versus a T formation. When you go down, keep that chin locked down to the ground. That's going to help with that push up and that form correction of that spinal alignment as you go down into that push up and drive right back up. All right. And then out of those, if uh, we're regressing to our push ups, let's go ahead and either A, into your push up and right back up, or you can go back into that high plank and then go into that rotation. All right. That's going to be the mod for movement number two. All right. Movement number three, we have a sumo squat to a high pole. So low lower body work with some upper body work here. All right, with our sumo, our feet, all about foot placement here, our feet are gonna be wider than shoulder width apart. Our toes are gonna be flared out just a little bit for comfort, okay team? When we go down to that sumo squat, our knees are gonna be tracking at the angle in which our toes are angled at. We wanna push those hips back as well as keep our chest up when we go down into that sumo squat. So palms are gonna be facing behind us here. We're gonna set ourselves up. Dumbbells are touching one another or just inside for a close grip. If we don't have any dumbbells, quite all right. All right, team, let's just go ahead and make those nice strong fists from here. Our chest is up nice and proud. Shoulders are rolled back. We're gonna drop down into a sumo squat, pushing those hips back from there, drive up. And then we have a high pull to engage our shoulders. All right, most important part here is to keep that chest up nice and proud and those shoulders rolled back. Okay, team. All right, that's the sumo squat with high pull for movement number three. And movement number four, we have another dividing time here. So we have 40 seconds, I'm sorry, we have 20 seconds of a core twist and 20 seconds of ab cycles. So with those core twists, two options here. As we recline back, our heels can be placed on the floor or they can be placed elevated. Uh, depending on where we are today with our fitness level, elevated or on the floor. From here, we are touching the ground on our right hip and left hip, left hip and right hip. We're gonna alternate as we recline back into that 45 degree angle and our gaze is going to look somewhat above us right here. Okay, team. that's gonna be 20 seconds of ab cycles. I'm sorry, 20 seconds of a core twist. And then we are going to drop back completely because then we have 20 seconds of ab cycles. So our hands are right next to our tempo, opposite knee to opposite elbow as we drive those elbows up, keeping our core nice and tight and thinking about controlling those ab cycles as we move through those last 20 seconds of work. All right, team, how does that sound? <laughs> I know it's a lot of resistance today. And what's great about these 40 seconds, 20 seconds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, is it really, pushes you to elevate your heart rate and a lot of limited rest is going to increase that heart rate elevation almost as if we are working some cardio-based movements. But it's gonna take a lot of effort to push some of that weight around. So pick a weight that's challenging for you yet um, comfortable enough to finish through those 40 seconds of work on each of those four rounds. All right, team. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome in Stacy. I'm so happy for you to join us again. Once again, each and every week, I see you coming through, always dropping a note, always dropping some positivity and some encouragement to our BFIT Nation. Stacy, thank you for joining us once again. All right. Darvin, thanks big time. Thank you to you. All right. Uh, great to see you in today. I hope that you have um, any type of resistance available to you. If not, all right, make those nice strong fists. And um, <clears throat> feel free and drop us a note on any comments uh, that you may have. I'm excited for us today, team. I know we have um, 
a good, well-rounded program workout for us today. So uh, let's get started with some nice dynamic stretches, team. I know it's important for us to stay ready uh, to get our bodies warmed up and prepared for this resistance training workout. So let's start off with a little dynamic quad stretch. I know some of these movements um, should be a little recognizable to us. So let's start off with that dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg. We are gonna extend it back, all right? Our heel is gonna to touch just about our glute level and our left hand is going to extend all the way up. All right, team, this is a great time for us to scan our bodies, to really feel out where we are today. Go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg as we focus on some breathing, some breathing work for today. I think that should be um, a major takeaway through our resistance training as well. Make sure we're breathing at the proper, uh, you know, at the proper push or pull movements, all right? And I'll call that out as we work. Um, that way it can seem a little bit more comfortable to us as well, but it does help when you are inhaling and exhaling at the right points. All right, team, you should feel this in our quads, in our hip, hip flexors, a little bit of mobility work here in our shoulders. Again, alternating left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm. All right, team, reverse lunge with a reach. So come up to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna send that right leg back down into that reverse lunge, 90 degree bend at that right leg from here. Right hand comes up and reaches over to our left side, the left side of our lead leg. Come back up to standing position, left leg goes back down into our reverse lunge, left arm goes up and reaches over, feeling that stretch in your lats, as well as opening up our hips here. Again, if you've been seated, seated for a long period of time, maybe it's this morning, maybe, you haven't, maybe you've had an early day, early start to your day today, or if you've had a long weekend, maybe we were relaxing, watching, catching up on movies, shows, we've been seated for a long period of time, maybe our hips are tight, this is going to be a great movement to get some more out of our hips, right? Really loosen up our hips here <clears throat> with our mobility work here. Okay, let's go with lateral lunges here, all right? Feet are gonna be fixed forward, so keep those toes forward. We're going to shift our weight over to our right and to our left, feeling that stretch in the inner part of our thighs here. Not only just that, you can really feel the blood flow starting to come through our lower body. Our heart rate is getting elevated. Our body is getting ready to work. Good, take things nice and slow here to your comfort level. Again, always to our comfort level, always to our fitness level. We wanna challenge ourselves, but we also wanna be safe about it. Pushing those hips back, that front knee tracks over our toe, good. Out in three, two, one. All right, team. How about some inchworms for our second to last movement? We're going to come to the back of our workout space here. We're going to reach down for our toes, feel that stretch in our hamstrings, take advantage of that. From here, we're going to extend out into a high plank position, keeping our core nice and tight. Pausing for one second and retracting back, trying to keep our legs straight. Coming back up to standing position and then diving right back down into the inchworm position. All right, once again, high plank position here, pausing for a second, getting our core to warm up as well. Good. Bend your knees as needed here, as much as we may need. Come out to that high plank, just a little pause. Good. Again, keeping our core nice and tight. Nice and tight at that bottom position. Last one here, walking it out. Good. There we go. All right, team, final movement here, just to move and warm up our upper body, YTW. So we're gonna take a nice strong stance here. This is a nice time to focus on our breathing as well. Nice strong stance, feet shoulder width apart, chest is back, shoulders are back. Center is going to be at our chest. From here, we're gonna extend up into a big Y formation with our arms. Thumbs are pointing to the back of the room here. Feeling that stretch, come back to center. Thumbs back again into a big T formation. Good, bringing those shoulder blades back together, back to center, and a big W. There we go, again, nice proud chest, shoulders rolled back, squeezing 
those shoulder blades. You can feel a little bit of shoulder mobility and blood flow back into a big Y. Big T, deep breath in, exhale, big W. Showing off our biceps here. All right, last round here, big Y. A little higher, a little further, a little longer of a reach, big T. Good, last big W here, team. All right, team, let's go, let's go. Let's get our timer started. Grab that towel, grab that water. Susan, thank you for joining us. All right, thank you for joining us today, Motivation Monday. Absolutely, absolutely. Again, we are in this together, one team. That's right, one team. <laughs> All right, team, let's get started. All right, so grab those dumbbells again. I'll go through the four movement once again. It's a staggered squat, 20 seconds on each lead leg. So 20 seconds on your left leg, 20 seconds on your right leg, staggered squat for movement number one. Movement number two, we have that T push up with a rotation, with a spinal rotation up top, really forcing us to engage our core. So bring that navel back nice and tight here on our core. Movement number three, sumo squat to a high pull, engaging our shoulders. Think about that sumo squat and thinking about what you can lift for that high pull. It may not be as heavy as what you can sumo squat with, but think about form on that sumo squat and think about that high pull. A little bit of combo movement there to engage our full body. And last but not least, core twists and uh, ab cycles. <laughs> 20 seconds on each of those is gonna round us out. All right, team, 10 seconds on the clock here. Let's get ready mentally. Grabbing our weight here, staggered stance. My left, my right foot is forward. My left leg is back. 40 seconds on the clock, 20 seconds of work on one leg, one leg lead foot here. Driving up through our heel. Remember, three points of contact on our foot placement. Big toe, little toe, and our heel. Good, good. Last five seconds here. Find a tempo that's challenging to one and alternate. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Shoulder width apart on our foot placement, but also heel to toe on our foot placement, okay? See if we can see that on that profile view. We drop down 80% of that weight on that lead leg. Nice compact movement here. Chest is up, last three, two, one, and time. This is where we get 20 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of recovery to catch our breath. And now we're gonna go into our T push-ups. All right, team. So nice, strong T push-up with that rotation. Four seconds here on the clock. We are up in two, one. Here we go, team. High plank position. We're down into that push-up, push down, push down. Extend down, control that movement down. We are rotating, gaze follows fingertips. Take our time with this one. Really feel. Good. Really feels a movement as you go down to that push up. Nice quality of work here, dropping to our knees as a regression to scale back if needed. 10 seconds here. Good. Last six. We are out in 14. Three, two, one and time good job 20 seconds of recovery here grab a pair of dumbbells here or not we have a sumo squat to high pull good setting ourselves up here starting position in a standing position shoulder width apart here we're dropping back into a sumo squat and then into our high pull control that weight on the way down and on the way up with that pull. Good, really keeping that chest up as you go down. And then as you extend up into that high pull. Good. Remember our foot placement for our sumo squat. Wider than shoulder width apart. Toes flared out just a little bit for comfort. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one and time. Good job, team. I know that sumo squat really pulls and activates a little bit more of our lower glute, our hamstring. 10 seconds here of recovery. We have 10 seconds of a core twist and then 10 seconds of an ab cycle. Five seconds here, team. Core twist, recline back, and let's begin. 20 seconds on the clock. Our heels can be placed on the floor or they can be elevated. 
We climb back. Nice controlled movements here. Our head is looking up at the ceiling just a little bit. If you have one. 20 seconds coming up in two, one. Good. Let's lean back all the way. Ab cycles here. My hands are next to my temple. I'm leading with my head up. Trying to keep that chin off of our chest here. Out in three, two, one, and recover. First round is complete. First round is done. Good job. Grab that water towel off. Now we know what to expect for the next three rounds, team. Mm -hmm. All right, how are we doing? How are we feeling? How was that first round? Now that we know it, now that we know it, now that we've learned it, we can scale up. All right, now we can scale up. This is a great time to really analyze how we're feeling today. Trying to push a little harder as the rounds go by. Right, team? First round, we learned it. Second round, we're going to push a little harder. Maybe it's picking a heavier weight. Maybe it's choosing a faster tempo, right? A little bit quicker on that staggered squat to get in a little bit more reps on that single leg. All right, team, speaking of staggered squat, we are up in six seconds. Right leg is forward, left leg is back, heel to toe on our foot placement, shoulder width apart as well. Two, one, dropping down. 80% of that weight should be on that lead foot. So that rear leg is basically like a kickstand. Just a little bit of balance, isolating that front quad. Good, picking up our tempo just a little bit. Out in three, alternating in two, one. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Check our foot placement as well. Nice compact movement. <sighs> Inhaling as you go down, <sighs> exhaling as you come back up descending. Out in three, two, one. Recover here, recover. All right, team, good job. Way to control that weight. T push ups in 14 seconds. Ah. All right, Stacey, looking good, feeling good. Just getting warmed up. Absolutely. Let's call it out here in three, two, T push ups, high plank position. Let's get ready and let's work, team. Good. Give me those nice, strong push ups. Control that body weight on the way down. Control that rotation as well. Good. Watch that gaze. Our toes should be on the floor as well. Try to keep those hips square to the floor. So that rotation of that back, that spine is only in that upper body. Last 10 seconds here, team. Good job. Stay with us. Come on, nation. Out in five. Last three, two, and push. <laughs> Good job. Recover, 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 recover. Good work. 14 seconds here, sumo squat to high pull. Again, hips go back. Nice wide stance here to our comfort level. Find that comfort here in three, two, one. Palms are facing us. Dropping down into that sumo squat. And then that high pull. Good. Good work team, keep it up. There we are. Good, remember to push those hips back. Nice, strong, high pull. That chest is up nice and proud. Those shoulders are rolled back. Good. Last 10 seconds of work. Out in five. Focus on our lower body moving down, controlling that weight, last rep and time. Good job. Ooh. Okay, team. Fit Nation, we came to work today. Core twists and ab cycles, 20 seconds on each. Let's get down, let's get ready to work. Out in three, up in three, one. All right, team. Heels are elevated, recline back. And we are twisting here, hip to hip, left to right. Hands are together. Good, keep working through this. Climbing back, not so far. At that 45 degree angle in two seconds, we are switching to one ab cycles as we recline back. Good. Extend those legs all the way out here. 
trying to extend those legs all the way out. Hands on our temple. That'll help with not pulling our head up so high. Out in two seconds. One and time. Recover here, recover. Good work. Finishing out round two, nice and strong. Good work, Beat Nation. Good work. 45 seconds of rest here. Good. Find that water. Find that breath. This is where things get fun. Now our bodies are warmed up. I know, as if our dynamic stretching didn't warm us up enough. We've gone through two rounds now. We are halfway through our workouts. Our body is primed. Our body is warm. We already know what our movements are going to be. 20 seconds here. Again, this is a great time to think about scaling up. If it's grabbing a, just a heavier dumbbell that we have access to, let's do it. If it's raising our tempo, let's do it. Quicker reps here, 10 seconds. Staggered squats, scaling up. Here we go, five seconds. Up and three, right leg's forward, left leg is back. Staggered stance, feet, shoulder width apart. That's important here, nice compact movement. As we go down, control that weight, keeping our chest up. That means pushing our hips back and down. Good, five seconds here. We're gonna alternate legs. Out in two, ah, one, good job. Way to push through that one. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Heel to toe again on my foot placement. Shoulder width apart on our feet. Look down, see where you're at. Drive up through your heel. Out in four seconds. Let's get two more reps in. One and one. Good, recover. Recover, good job. Good job, way to scale up. Way to stay with us. Key push-ups coming up next. All right, again, if we need to regress for our T push-ups, let's come off of our knees. Let's come down to our knees, but keep working, team. Let's keep on perfecting that push-up. We're gonna lead with our chest, 40 seconds on the clock. A little note here, the little wider your foot placement is, the more stability you're gonna have when you come up into that T rotation. All right, I like to keep my feet shoulder width apart or just outside of that. That's gonna help with that rotation. Again, keeping our feet, our toes on the floor, our hands underneath our shoulders, out in 10 seconds. Whew. Core is nice and tight, nice and engaged. Our belly button is back towards our spine, out in three seconds here. Last rep and time. Good job. Okay, okay team, we're pushing today. Ooh. Good job, sumo squat the high pulls coming up in five seconds. Keep working. Here we are, set yourself up in two, one, sumo high pull, good. You feel the difference between a sumo squat and a regular squat? Feel that activation in the lower part of your glutes there, your hamstrings. When you extend up that outer sweeping leg of your quad, good. There you are. Last 10 seconds here. High pull engaging our anterior delts as well as our head. Out in three, two, one. Last rep. Time. Good job. Good job. Catch our breath here. Nice deep breaths in. 10 seconds, team. Core twists and ab cycles. Whichever comes first for you. Core twists are on deck for me. Heels are up. Recline back in two, one. And I'm working, team. We are working. Good. Find that tempo. Once again, find that rep tempo that works for you. If we want to speed it up, let's speed it up. If we need to slow it down. That's perfectly fine. Four seconds. Ab cycles coming up in two, one. Recline back. We are on our backs. Hands by our temple here. Sending our legs all the way out. Good. Eight seconds here. Rotating just a little bit. Shoulder blades are coming off of the floor. Out in two, one, and time. Good job. 
Questions, questions. How are we liking this one? How are we liking this one so far? Good job, team. I know it's not always easy feeling the burn. Stacy says, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what it's for. We're pushing through that burn. We're feeling that progress. We're getting stronger each rep, each workout that we apply ourselves to with as much effort as we have for today. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting through that mental block, that mental fatigue, pushing our bodies just a little bit further. Again, just challenging, not hurting, but challenging. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Keep it up, team. Keep it up. 15 seconds here. Staggered squat into our left and right positions. 10 seconds coming up on our last round. Our last round is our best round. We're going to give it everything that we have here in this round, team. We are up in three, two, one. Right legs forward. We're dropping down. Engage in our glutes. Engage in our quads. Driving back up to standing position. Good. With our knees, try to keep our knees moving forward. Front to back here, hinging at those knees, driving back up to standing. Go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg. Good. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhaling as you drive up. Good, last eight seconds. Try to keep that front leg working. That primary leg here, out in two. One last rep, finish it out. Time, good job. Ooh, good work, team. Good work. Two push-ups coming up. I know it's our favorite. Breaking up a sweat here. Coming up on deck here. You're up in five seconds. Let's get ready. High plank position. Two, one, and we're up, team. T push-up. Nice strong rotation. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhaling. Nice and slow. On the way up, holding in that core, keeping that abdominal tight as you rotate up. Good, good, that navel gets pushed back towards our spine. 11 seconds, team, stay with us. Come on, nation. Ah, there we go. And in three, two, last rep, finish it out and recover. Good. Good job, good job. Sumo squat to high pull. Grab those pair of dumbbells. Good job team, eight seconds. Sumo, our sumo position here, hands facing us. Two, one, drop down, chest up, high pull. Nice deep breath on the way down, exhaling as you drive up to standing, as well as you're including that high pull. Again, nice proud chest, shoulders are rolled back. Good. Take our time with this one. A lot of moving pieces here, out in 12. Last 10. Last five seconds here, team. Out in three, two, one, and time. Drop the dumbbells. You will not need them again today, unless we do this workout again. <laughs> All right, team, good work. 10 seconds here, find our breath. Our last and final movement for today, core twists with ab cycles. Coming up in two, one, uh, heels are elevated, and we're working here. 20 seconds with our core twists. Try to elevate our heels with this one. If it's just one heel at a time, Let's rotate, alternate left leg and right leg, heel up. Last three seconds. We're going into our ab cycles, two, one. All right, team, nice and quick, hands by our temples here, driving the knee up, elbow meets knee, shoulder blades are off the floor here. Last three, keep working, two, one and recover. Woo. How are we doing, team? How are we feeling? How are we doing? Drop us a note here. This is a great time once we catch our breath here, of course, to drop us a note. Let us know, team. How are we doing? Catch our breath here. Let's think about cooling ourselves down. Now is a great time as well to really focus on recovery, really focus on 
pulling our heart rate back down, back to a more comfortable steady state here, more comfortable resting heart rate. I know we just put our bodies through a lot of challenging movements, but again, if we need to kind of recover here, now's a great time to freestyle whatever stretch we may need. Maybe it's a static stretching here. Maybe we need to open up that stance and reach for our toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstring, pulling our quad back, our heels back, engaging our quad, bringing our heart rate back down once again. Nice deep breaths in and out, controlling our breathing. Good, rolling out those shoulders, those T push-ups. Really worked our shoulder mobility as well as our chest. Good. Take these movements in. Recover just a little bit more. Whatever we may need here. Good. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Nice deep breath. <laughs> Be Fit Nation. Great work today. Way to push through. Way to challenge yourself. Once again, week after week. I see you continually, I see you continuously provide that effort, provide that max encouragement and motivation for everyone, uh, including everyone in our thread, everyone within our BFIT program and our BFIT Nation community team. So that's what it's all about, right? Just really supporting one another and really focusing on what our goals are, what our intentions are, moving with the purpose instead of moving through the motion, right? Moving with the purpose. Great work today, team. As always, if you need additional support or creative workouts or things like that, you can find us on our Facebook page under our BFIT playlist where we have more than a year plus work worth of catalog workouts available to you. And they are all always different. There's cardio-based movements, there's resistance-based movements, but they're always here to help challenge you, to help bring you to a healthier lifestyle. If YouTube is your platform, hit us up on our Shop My Exchange YouTube page where our Full BFIT live uh, workouts are available on that platform as well. All right, team, recover just as hard as you worked out today with our exchange restaurants or at our express stores where we have smart snacking options. Look for that green label on the shelf, and that'll help gear you and guide you in the right direction of smart snacking, all right, team, as well as anything that you may need uh, for recovery, for sporting goods, for athletic apparel or footwear or uh, fitness trackers. We have it all at our exchange. So be sure to keep an eye out on our BFIT department team. We have everything that you may need. And if you don't, check out our online platform at shopmyexchange.com. Shopmyexchange.com is where you're going to find it, team. <laughs> Again, great work today. Great way to push through on our resistance-based movements for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Susan. Kimberly, thank you so much for joining. Stacy. thank you so much for all of the words of encouragement week after week. We really appreciate it. And to everyone else. Great work today, way to push, way to continue to push. And I will see you again uh, next week, Monday, 11 a.m. Central Center Time. BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes signing off team. Great work. Have a great rest of your week.